Next up on this BYD Atto 3 battery pack strip, I've cut all the bus bars into 14S segments. Um, now I just need to uh, join onto all the negatives of each of those segments and run them all to a central location, which I've actually already done that. That's what all these cables here are all about. Each one runs off to the negative of each, each of the groups. The next step will be to put the positive cables on and then I need to put in all the cell taps on each individual cell of all 126 cells down the length of the pack. So I will be at this for a while. Here's a bit of a close up of what I've done to at each of the cell bus bars that I've cut. Uh, after I cut the bus bar into two sec sections I just folded the bus bar up and made use of this little eyelet section that they've got at the top here which is where they've come through to do their laser welding onto the actual cell terminals. Folded up, bolted, uh, cleaned it all up, bolted through uh, a, a nut and bolt there um, with the eyelet on it that goes to the cable um, with a little bit of like antioxiding goop and that on there. Now I just need to go and do all the same on all the positive ones. So I'll bother to record this one, I didn't record the negative one, sorry about that. The big bonus to now is I'm no longer working with hazardous voltages. Uh, everything here is below about the 50 volt mark. Um, so I no longer need to wear all my gloves and everything like that. There's still a danger of shorting stuff out and, and fire and that, but there's no longer a hazard to my health of, of if I touch it, well, I can touch all this and it's not gonna do me any, any damage anymore. For all the cell taps, uh, I plan on the far side, obviously I'm putting all the BMS cell taps down the far side of the battery. Uh, for this side, I'm just going to make use of these terminals that they've run across the top of the in internal of the cells here. They've run across the um, the pack. So I just need to solder each one of these bus bars to one of these corresponding uh, cell links, internal links inside the cells there. I'm planning on putting some fuse holders like this in between the bus bars and the pass-through links that go to the other side of the battery pack and then all my BMS leads I can pick up from the far side of the battery pack um, without having to, to worry about trying to run them all down this side of the pack and down the far side of the pack and, and it's already going to be very chaotic down this side of the pack by the time I have all these main bath, uh, battery leads in here. Um, I was um and ahhing whether I should put a fuse or just a link of wire. Um, you know, these fuses aren't really rated to full pack voltage. They'll certainly break the, uh, the you know, the three or, or six or eight volts or whatever if you get across here. But if like this cell here, short of this cell here, and you've got 40 odd volts across it, I mean, this, this fuse will still blow, but it's not what it's actually rated to do. Um, but I figured a, a underrated fuse is gonna be better than no fuse at all if there is a short. Not that I'm expecting any shorts to be in this pack, but. And just as an idea of how many fuses I've got, Um, quite a few to attach. What I'm planning to do for the positive cables is I'm going to put, I've just bolted a fuse uh, onto this battery lug here, onto the cable here. I'm just going to put a little rubber boot over that to protect it. And then I'm just planning on bolting that onto there like that. Let's see if we're going to do this. Like that. And a bolt down there. And then send a nut down to lock it on. Nice little insulated uh, Allen key now. That's because I was getting a little bit close to the bus bars. Well, it worked, not as well as I wanted, so I had to redo it and put an extra couple of washers in there and change the angles that I was tightening everything up in. Um, but that should work like that. Now I've got at least one cable. It'll run down to that far bus bar at the end there, which will then eventually end up at the front of the pack. Just got to do it on all the other ones now. So 
just in this little section here, I've had to put a little bit of conduit over it just to protect it because it has, has to come over a bar that runs across the center of the pack there. Um, so I'm just putting a little bit of conduit because I feel it's going to be a little bit squashed up in there as, as all the cables try to get past. I'm going to go through all along here. I'm going to put various amounts of silicon everywhere just to hold all the cables in, in place just so they don't vibrate around or rattle around or move when they've got current flowing through them and rub on something. Positive and negative cables are attached to all the 14S packs now. So I'll just run all the negatives to the far right, all the positives to the far left, and they will end up all terminating up on those end, on that end one there. All that cabling there will go to there, and all that cabling there will go to that lug right at the end there as well. And then from there, we'll go to the BMS, which I'll mount up in that cavity at the end where all the contactors in that were. And then I've just got to connect it up to my solar inverter. I want to solder a link wire between this point here and this point here on each of the bus bars. Uh, I was going to try and put a fuse holder on this side of it so I actually fuse the length as it runs across the battery, but that's just not going to work for me. It's just going to get too crowded on this side of the battery with all the fuse holders. Uh, by the time I put six fuse holders uh, on each on each link here it's just yeah very crowded so I'm just gonna put a link wire here and I'll fuse it at the other end and I'll just hope that the cells never get any internal shorts theoretically they shouldn't I'm just gonna go through and tin all the nickel strips coming off the bus bars then I'll come through afterwards and solder wires onto them all please don't judge my soldering iron it's had a bit of a hard life it's certainly got a bit warm in, in the stage but it still works fine not that you can you can't actually switch it off anymore but don't judge me All the BMS sense wires are now soldered on going between the bus bars and the little cell pass-through terminals that go inside the cells there. All except for this little critter in here, this one just here, which I've torn the nickel strip off of it when I when I was pulling the BMS order boards off. I will have to spot weld a new nickel strip onto there before I can solder anything onto it. I've got one last little wire here. So of all 126 there was only one that I damaged so I mean that's not bad it's less than one percent I squelched some silicon on all around where the fuses and bus bars are uh, for a little bit of a strain relief and also just to stop any you know bits of metal getting stuck between the bus bars because obviously these two points here are going to be you know 40 odd volts apart so I don't want any 
tiny little slithers of metal falling in that gap there and and blowing things to kingdom come. So I've just gone all along. Got some rolls of cable in here just holding holding things in place while the silicon's all all setting. Um, yeah. And we're all done for the weekend. God, I feel like I'm talking to myself. <laughs>